So good morning, friends, students, uh, and distinguished guests and speakers. My name is Heather Chang. I'm the editor-in-chief of the Journal of Law and Inequality, and it is my honor to welcome you all to our 40th annual symposium. Um, the Journal of Law and Inequality was founded by Catherine McKinnon about 40 years ago, obviously, <laughs> um, with the goal of highlighting scholarship and creating further dialogue about the many issues at the intersection of law and inequality. This year, we celebrate our journal's 40th anniversary, and we are proud to host today's symposium, showcasing the work of attorneys, scholars, and activists who embody the concept of movement lawyering. Individuals who have dedicated their lives and careers to changing the status quo, to reforming our legal system in recognition of the deep-rooted inequities in both Minnesota and beyond. This year's symposium comes at a transformative time for America. Over the past few years, we've seen extraordinary movements for social justice and an outpouring of outrage and solidarity across the nation in fields like environmental justice, um, civil rights and sovereignty, police reform, and workers' rights. These movements come at a time of increased political turmoil and awareness and amidst a global health crisis. These circumstances have only exacerbated the long-standing inequities that pervade our legal system and our society. All of the speakers you will hear from today have done tremendous work in both highlighting these institutional inequities, but also in advocating for and creating tangible change. We're proud to host them here in Minnesota, which has been the center of many of these nationwide movements, and are even prouder to see so many Minnesotans working towards reform. So I wanna thank our speakers in advance for taking the time today to teach us more about your work and these incredibly important movements. And I wanna thank our journal and law school support staff for helping make this event possible with a special thanks to our co-lead symposium editors, Hasher Lakani and John Eric Haynes. I'm gonna turn it over briefly to Hasher to kind of talk through, talk through the procedural elements of today, but we hope you find today's seminars and Q&A panels um, informative, thought-provoking, and engaging. So, thank you. Right. Hello, everyone. Thank you, Heather, and welcome. So, today's panels and seminars are intended to have um, a pretty extensive Q&A component. For the panels, we will have pre-drafted questions that we will ask the panelists and go over um, to get the ball rolling. But we encourage everyone to be engaged and ask questions um, as they come up and as you have them. Um, if you have any questions, you could come down to the mics on either side. And you could also use the barcode here and on your phone and like scan it. And then it'll go to a Google form where you could submit questions to uh, the moderator. Uh, as you may have seen when you came in, there are coffee and snacks outside. Please help yourself. Um, there'll also be lunch, um, some pizza and sandwiches as well um, after, the, after Professor Carl's talk. That will be, we're probably gonna push things a little bit back. So we were scheduled to have lunch at 11.40, between 11.45 and 1.15. We're probably looking more at like noon to 1.15 now. And then after lunch, we will resume at 1.15 for our panel on criminal justice reform and progressive prosecutors. Lastly, um, the law school has recently changed its mass policy so if you so you can wear masks or not wear masks it's totally up to you whatever you feel comfortable with um, uh, so yeah <laughs> we really yeah we really appreciate everyone's attendance and participation and we hope that today is going to be a great symposium uh, I'm going to turn things over to John Eric now and he'll introduce our first panel on creative worker organizing in the great resignation era Thank you, everyone, again.